I could run my business perfectly and then run perfectly. And there was never, a, there's never been a case like this where somebody's had, like if you look at other people of wealth, they didn't have this kind of asset and this kind of wealth, frankly. You know, it's just a different thing. But there is no, I, I assumed that you'd have to set up some type of trust or whatever, and, and you don't. Uh, and I was actually a little bit surprised to see it. President-elect telling the New York Times that he has been happily surprised uh, to learn that there is no rule blocking him from, if he wants to, continuing to run his business and the country at the same time. Nothing stops him from doing that. Joining us now is Senator Ben Cardin. He's the ranking Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Senator Cardin, thank you for being here, particularly the night before Thanksgiving. I really appreciate your time tonight. Rachel, it's good to be with you. Thanks. So you are planning on introducing a, a resolution aimed at conflicts of interest between the president-elect, uh, his assets, his, his business ties, his, his ongoing involvement in his business, um, and his work as president-elect and ultimately president. I, 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 what's the basis for doing that? Is he correct when he says he's not violating any rules, even if he keeps running his business? No, Donald Trump is absolutely wrong. The Constitution is very clear that all public officials, including the President of the United States, is prohibited from receiving gifts from foreign governments. If the President owns business interests in other countries, it's impossible to determine whether the foreign government's giving that business a break, which would be an unconstitutional gift. That's why every President has used blind trust or have sold their assets in order to avoid uh, uh, violating the Constitution of the United States and the appearance of a conflict. The, uh, Donald Trump's just absolutely wrong on this issue. Well, now, what you're talking about there in terms of that constitutional prohibition, that's the, the Emoluments Clause, and it's specific to foreign governments. Obvious, the, the justification for that being in the Constitution is obvious, right? You basically don't want a foreign agent um, in the U.S. government. You don't want other countries able to use money to affect the decision-making of the presidency. But what about his domestic assets? I mean, I've been struck by this, this story, one of these stories in the last few days, that foreign diplomats were apparently brought in for a sales pitch, that when they're coming in to do business with the U.S., case for the U.S. government, they're staying in Washington, D.C., they ought to think about staying at the Trump Hotel. Um, I just imagine myself as a foreign, somebody working for a foreign government, thinking about going to meet with the new president and saying, oh yeah, I stayed at the St. Regis last night, sir. Yeah. It was very nice. Um, that, but those are his domestic assets. Oh, absolutely. But that's a gift. That's a gift to the president. That's, that's doing a favor to the president of the United States. The president of our Constitution wanted to prevent that type of influence by foreign powers here in the United States. It is unconstitutional. It can't be done. Hmm. What, what Donald Trump continues to cite is the conflicts that, that were passed to make the president have always to act as commander-in-chief and as president of the United States. But that doesn't avoid the constitutional prohibitions against gifts by foreign powers. The only way, and the only way he can deal with this, is to set up a blind trust or to sell the assets. The resolution that I'm following in Congress, will, Congress will speak to that effect. I hope con Democrats and Republicans will join me to make it clear that in the next 60 days, before January the 20th, it's important that the president... Uh, elect, avoid this constitutional problem and take the appropriate steps to divest or set up a, a blind trust. Senator, do you have any indication that any Republicans are going to be with you on this? Well, we're just starting conversations on this. I think most of my colleagues in the Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, uh, will be very firm about the fact that it's wrong. Donald Trump can to own his assets and to benefit from foreign governments telling their their uh, missions to use the, the Trump Towers or for uh, a permit to be given by a foreign power to allow the Trump enterprises to build in their country. That is an apparent, that is a definite conflict and it, it, it violates the Constitution. I am very hopeful that this is not going to be a partisan issue in Congress. We have a responsibility as the legislative branch of government to be very clear on this. So I'm hoping that I will have support on both sides of the aisle. Senator Ben Cardin, top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Really appreciate your time tonight, sir. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, to you and your family, sir. Thank you. It. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us.